Any motion performed in Flash Professional takes advantage of the timeline. This lesson provides a quick overview of this feature. So if I have a project open here, and this project is a basic animation, I have a number of different things that are visible within the timeline. The timeline by default in the Essentials workspace is down at the bottom of the screen, directly below the stage. So we can see that the timeline is frames based, which means that we have frames numbered from one out to however long our actual animation is. In this case, it's 85 frames long. We have a little playhead that we can use to scrub along and preview our animation. And you'll notice it's snapping to these frames. We don't have the concept in Flash Professional of an actual real time-based timeline. It's all frames-based. Time comes into play when we take into account our frames per second or FPS. And we can see down here in the timeline that we get a little reading of our frame rate. That's our frames per second. And we're running this at 24 frames per second. So what does this mean? This means for 85 frames, we actually have 3.5 seconds of animation. So based on the number of frames and the playhead's position, along with the actual frames per second that's been defined, Flash Professional is able to let us know exactly how long the animation is going to be. So a few other things about the timeline. We have the ability to show or hide our different layers. So we can reveal them one at a time, or we can use this, this eyeball up here to just toggle them on or off as we see fit. We can also lock any of our layers through this little lock icon. And again, up top here, we can lock or unlock every layer if we want to. The next thing here is to render all layers as outlines. So this is very useful if you have a lot of complex stuff going on on the screen that might potentially be bogging down Flash Professional. You can render everything as outlines and it'll go much quicker. That's usually not a case on today's machines with quad-core processors and huge amounts of RAM and so forth, but it was actually very useful years back when machines were not as capable. So we also have the ability to create new layers, create new folders, or to delete layers and folders through these icons right here. Generally, every object on the timeline, anything that's going to actually be animated, should probably be on its own layer. We also have down here a number of controls. So we're able to play this animation within Flash Professional itself. And we can jump around from the first to the last frame and so forth. We're able to center the frame using this particular tool here. We're able to set our animation to loop through this little tool. So if I toggle that on, we can see that we get these little sliders that we're able to define a loop region. When we hit play and have a loop region, we can see that it just loops between those in and out points. We also have onion skinning, and we can turn that on and off. Onion skinning gives us a little preview of what's coming up ahead through a number of frames, and also what's already transpired over a certain number of frames. So this allows us to see, as you see in this case, the exact motion of our text on the stage here through this animation. This is mostly useful when you're trying to line things up precisely over time. You can also choose to do onion skin outlines, in which case we only see the outlines of the objects. And you can also choose to edit multiple frames at once. 
which can get tricky, as you might imagine. This option here allows us to deal with markers, so showing specific markers in the range. And let's turn those off. And then we have our current frame. So we can scrub along the timeline with this control right here. Or we can type in a specific frame and jump straight to it. The frames per second is also editable. So we could change that if we wish. And then we have some scroll bars here to reveal portions of the animated timeline that aren't in view already. So this has been a quick overview of the Flash Professional CS6 timeline.